Brachial Plexus Marathon. Let's get started to memorize the brachial plexus forever. So, you have to know that we have vertebrae C5, C6, C7, and T1. The nerve root of C5 will be above the C5 vertebra. Okay, what about C6 nerve is about is above C6 vertebra. What about C7? Above C7 vertebra. What about C8? Above T1. Why? Because there is no such thing as C8 vertebra. The cervical vertebrae are only seven, while the cervical spinal nerves are eight. So the T1 will be below T1 vertebra. That's crucial. Okay, how to memorize them? We have five segments or five parts of the brachial plexus. Roots, then after roots we have trunks, divisions, cords, branches. Just remember a tree. Start with the root, ends with branches. So tree, then after the roots, there are trunks. After that, divisions, maybe. And like cords, we can call them cords. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with what? We will have draw something like this. Okay, and something like this. Okay, mirror image. Okay, so two roots of each. Then a single trunk and the, the straight line should remain like this. Okay, until branches, we branch it into two branches. Perfect. The other one the same, single nerve past the three segments, then give two branches this one will join with this one and another branch like this perfect okay the c7 root is different it will start like this okay one two three it will receive from the others okay and we'll go like this then give the two branches of it one and two. Okay, perfect. Let's name the terminal branches. Okay, the first one here is the musculocutaneous, then the axillary, then the radial, then the median, then the, what's that, the ulnar. Okay, take care. The axillary and the radial, okay, are drawn in dashed line because there are they are posterior to the median nerve which is anterior so musculocutaneous then we have the axillary radial medium ulnar okay so there is a mnemonic to remember them upside down from down to top upper extremity muscles really are maintained maintained by innervation from the brachial plexus upper extremity muscles really are maintained okay let's name these roots okay nothing c5 root c6 root c7 root c8 root t1 root what about the trunks superior metal and inferior superior metal and inferior okay what about the divisions Every single trunk will give an anterior division and a posterior division. Okay, anterior division, what about its posterior division? Let's draw it, it will be like this. Okay, then here, anterior division and posterior division. The three posterior divisions will join to form one chord. We call this chord the posterior co chord. And that's why there is a dashed line, because it is posterior. That makes sense. Okay, then, the one above, here we'll call the lateral, and here we'll call the medial, because we are getting closer to the first rib, like here. This is the first rib, so this is like medial, and this is kind of lateral. Okay, that's perfect. So, 
how to memorize everything you need to know about the brachial plexus. Okay, it's easy. It's five times five. Okay, how come? We have five segments or five parts. Roots, trunks, divisions, cords, branches. Just remember the tree. In every single part, there are five things you need to know. Okay, let's start with roots. What are the five things you need to know? You need to know that it's they are C5, C6, C7, C8, T1. Those are the five things you need to know. What about the trunks? You need to know that this is the superior trunk, this is the middle trunk, and this is the inferior trunk. But those are only three items. Okay, we will add two items. Okay, this superior trunk will give two branches. Okay, one of them is called supra which means above and one of them is called sub which means below so one above and one below what's the supra it's called the suprascapular nerve and what's the sub it's the nerve to subclavius okay cool then what about the five things we need to know about the divisions okay this is an exception you need to know six things what are they each one of the trunks will give an anterior and a posterior what da -da 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 -da. division. The posterior divisions will join together to form the posterior cord. Okay, then those divisions go the anterior with this anterior will form the lateral. Only this anterior will form the medial cords, respectively. Okay. Those are six things. What about the five things we need to know about the cords? Okay, first, you have to know the lateral cord, posterior cord, and medial cord. Okay, but those are three items, so let's add two. Okay, here we have lateral pectoral nerve, and here we have medial pectoral nerve. Okay, there are other small branches coming from here and from here which are beyond the scope of this video okay what about the five branches we already know them the muscular continues the axillary the radial the median the ulnar what's the mnemonic upper extremity muscles really are maintained by this amazing brachial plexus okay this video is meant to be viewed more than once in order to master the brachial plexus try to get a blank piece of paper and draw it again and you will remember it forever just remember five times five please subscribe to get new videos every single week thank you very much for your support see you next video